Hey everybody, just wanted to do another video here on this uh, K1 Max. So, some I interesting issues that are that are going on with it. There's uh, some quality control issues that uh, are coming to light on this machine. Keep in mind, this is a K1 Max. This is not a K1. I don't own a K1. I own a K1 Max. It just came. It's not even a week old sitting here on the table. I tore the bottom off of it here because the bed is never level. And because the bed's not level, can't get a good first print. Now in my first video, I mentioned that the LiDAR's a lie. And it is, because if you take the machine, turn it off, unplug the LiDAR, turn it back on and start the print, it will go through all the motions that it does, and it never errors out and says, hey, I don't have LiDAR here. It doesn't do anything other than start the first layer. And it starts the first layer the exact same, whether the LiDAR is plugged in or the LiDAR is not plugged in. So the first layer is, I haven't been able to get it right at all. Now, I know how to fix these printers and I can rewire the whole thing, dump clipper on it and be off and running. That's not a problem. I do it on my other printers and we're building some other printers right now. And the thing about this is that when Creality sent this, they didn't do a very good job on quality control. And that's part of why this video is, is here, is because of the quality control. Now, we're going to talk about the reason why the bed isn't level here in just a second, and how to fix that when you get your machine. Take the bottom off and check this one thing, just to make sure it's not going to happen to you. But let's start here with this power supply. It's a cheap knockoff. It's not even Minwell. Now, Creality used to use Minwell long time ago, and all up until I don't know when. Um, I have some CR-10S Pros, as you've seen on my other videos, uh, how to upgrade those and everything like that. So, know how to upgrade them, but this isn't a Minwell power supply, and that's a huge letdown. It's a cheap knockoff. It doesn't even have a brand name on it. So, in my book, this needs to be changed because I'm not going to run the risk of this causing a fire. I don't know if it will or not, but I personally am not going to run the risk. Minwell power supplies are tested, tried and true, and they work really well. This right here is kind of cheap. It's just covered with a cheap piece of little plastic. Um, it's, it's another control board for uh, the hotbed and all of that stuff. It's probably their solid state relays in here. It looks really cheaply made. I'm not really happy with the quality. Of course, I haven't had the printer on long enough to see if it works really well, so I don't know on that. But hopefully we can get this back running and maybe do a first layer for the first time in this printer's existence. Now, let's talk about their board here. Their board isn't bad. Creality usually has pretty good boards. I'm assuming it's based on a Duet, but it is branded as Creality, so it's probably a knockoff there as well. And see this cooling fan. Now, the interesting thing about this cooling fan is it's really big, and you think, oh, it's going to do a fantastic job. But if you look at where it lines up, and I've lined up the sheet metal with the base of this, when you look at where this fan lines up, it lines up almost at the edge of where the drivers are, and the drivers need to be kept cool. So the fan itself isn't blowing on the drivers, but it's blowing on the processing chip, and your drivers can still get warm or hot, depending on how much you're driving it, how fast are you going, those types of things. So this fan should have been located over the top, but they couldn't do that because the fan sticks out so far that if they did that, it would hit the drivers because they don't have enough clearance in here. So they should have put the fan on the side to blow across the board, so it would have kept the board and all the components cool appropriately. I think they're just thinking it's such a big fan and it's blowing so much air in there that just the radiant fan is going to work. Had they thought about it, they should have turned these fins 90 degrees so that that air could have passed through them and actually cooled them appropriately. But they didn't do that. They're all in parallel to where the fan is. So it's not going to properly cool these drivers. So that's an issue in my book. Now, let's get back to this belt because as you can see, it's really loose. Like really, really loose. Like you can almost take it off the pulley in the back. That's the one stepper driver here that drives one, two, three axes. And in theory, that's a great system. It's the same system that bamboo uses, and it works fine. I have four working bamboos. 
without problem. Those all work. Now, when we look at this one, there's a problem because there's no tension on this belt, which means when it rolls, it causes it to skip. And it doesn't skip all the time, but it skips enough that when the bed is going up, one of these sides is not gonna be the same as the rest. And when it gets to the top, it pop, 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 until hopefully one of them levels out. But is that really level? I don't know, because I don't know the quality here because of the other issues, so I can't tell you that. But this right here is the problem. And if you get this machine, flip it over, take out the few screws. There's some feet that have screws in them. Take those out. And then there's two more screws, one here, one here, and you'll take those out and that takes this bottom plate off, okay? It plugs in right here, the cord is really short, so make sure you take care and make sure it goes back in the right place. Now, with this right here, the reason why this doesn't work is they have a spring tension on it, but unfortunately, it's all locked up. It doesn't move like it's supposed to to keep belt tension on this. So what you do is loosen this, and I want you to watch very carefully when I, when I loosen this other bolt, it'll actually move. Okay, did you see that? It doesn't move very far, but it moved enough that now this belt is properly tensioned so that now it can move up and down correctly. The only problem is, how do I know where that bed is when it's level? Is it all the way to the bottom where it levels itself out, or is it all the way to the top where it levels out? I don't know. We're going to have to test that. But I wanted to show this to you as a quick little uh, video to show you kind of some of the things about the K1 Max that's going on. Um, so this is the inside of it. It's kind of on its side right now. But hopefully it's going to level out to the top and we'll be able to get this build bed into somewhat of a level state or trammed state if you're talking about a Core XY machine. Uh, hopefully we can get that taken care of and maybe we can start a first print and have it put down a decent first layer. So if you get this machine, check this tension, make sure it's correct. Mine was not and it was about two and a half, almost three mils of tension off which means that these belts will just move on those pulleys and make it so that your bed is going to be off in one quadrant or the other. So check that out. See what you guys find. If you guys have the same problem, leave a message below. And uh, we'll keep going on this printer until we make it print. Even if it's stripping everything out of it and reloading clipper on it, putting some probes in it, and just making it like a Core XY machine, we can do that too. So that may be the route that we have to go if we can't get the rest of this working. Creality so far, I've sent them multiple messages, multiple emails, and they have yet to respond to any of them. So with as far as Creality's customer service, I've sent emails to every single email address that they have listed on their site, their customer service, their after, after sales support line, everything and I have yet to hear back from them. So their customer service right now is a zero in my book until they get a hold of me and say, hey, we're gonna fix the problem. Send us that machine, let us look at it. We'll send you a new machine, one that's been checked and verified. You know, that's really all I need, but we're gonna keep rebuilding this until they get a hold of us. Thanks for watching.